I'm Paige, 25 years old. I'm currently having dinner at a nice restaurant with my mom. I'm actually going to be marrying my boyfriend, Asher, soon. So before greeting each other's family, I wanted to tell just my mom about our engagement, so I invited her out like this. I'm so grateful to have you as my mom. You gave birth to me and raised me with lots of love, so that's why I'm so healthy and happy like this. No, no, I didn't do anything. You are the one who worked hard, so praise yourself. Even though my mom is saying this, I think my current happiness is definitely thanks to the support of people around me. I want to say that I'm grateful to have so many wonderful people around me. Well, despite one person. You are growing up wonderfully like this, but I wonder what went wrong with the other one. I actually have a fraternal sister named Brooke. This person is a huge problem in my life. It seems like she's working part-time occasionally, but is currently jobless. I heard she gets fired easily. It was recently discovered that she had accumulated a lot of debt. Additionally, she has been taking money from my parents' wallets without permission and acting selfishly and unreasonably. My mom is keeping her in the house to monitor her and make sure she doesn't do anything bad outside. But it seems like she finally had enough and wants to kick her out. I also want that to happen because I always found her annoying. She always tried to take away a lot of things from me. When we were little, she just copied the clothes I wore and things I liked. But when we entered middle school, she started taking my clothes and stationery without permission. Even worse, Hey, Brooke, you've been stalking my friends again, huh? I've been getting complaints from them that you're so annoying waiting for them outside every day and keep messaging them on social media. So, you act like you have more friends than me and think that you're all that and it's pissing me the hell off. I have more friends and I am more popular than you. Sorry. <laughs> Even when we were in high school, Brooke, I know that you're stalking my boyfriend! Stop doing that right now! Why? You don't even match with that handsome guy at all. I'm definitely more suitable for him. <laughs> Be real. In the end, that boyfriend hated Brooke so much for her repeated annoying actions and hated me because of her. It seems like she wants to compete with me because she wants to be the better and cooler twin sister. Well, she is cute appearance-wise. Maybe she got carried away after constantly being told how cute she was in public since she was little. No matter how much my parents warn her, all she says is, yeah, okay, and brushes it off seemingly looking down on them. That's why I moved out of the house right after graduating from high school and started, and started living on my own. Even though I could commute to college, I didn't want to live in the same house as her. But I needed to go to the house where she lives for the engagement announcement. If she's there, I know I probably won't be able to give her a proper one. Thankfully, my parents knew that and kept it a secret from her that I was coming to the house with my fiance. So while she was away on a trip, Asher and I went to the house to have him greet my parents. Hello. My name is Asher, and I'm Paige's fiance. This is Asher, Mom and Dad. He currently works at the Paris Collection Group. Really? Wow, I've heard of it. That's a big company. While we were chatting in a lively and fun atmosphere, I'm home. Brooke, who was supposed to be on a trip, came back home. God, I'm pissed. I had a huge fight with my friends there, so I came home. Wait, huh? Paige, what are you doing here? And a customer. My mom stepped in. Go over there right now. And tried to keep her out of the room, but... Wait, hold on. Is that your boyfriend, Paige? After saying this excitedly, she then spoke in a weedling voice. 
Oh, my. Nice to meet you. I'm Brooke, her twin sister. You're so handsome. I usually work as a model and am pretty busy. <laughs> she tried to get his attention. First of all, a model? Pretty busy? She's lying. It's true that she was an advertising model, but that was when she was in elementary school. Well, maybe she thinks of herself as a model even now. I've heard she earns a little money by receiving requests from people who contact her on social media, asking her to take a picture. But it seems like it's a once a year thing. Anyways, my mom managed to take her away somewhere. I had told Asher beforehand that I had a sister who lacked common sense, but my parents and I apologized to him saying, we're sorry for causing trouble. Well, despite all of this, he and I continued living together and began preparing for the wedding. Then just a few days before the wedding, I received a call from my mom. I had a bad feeling about this. Hello, Paige. Brooke has been talking on the phone with her boyfriend recently, but I've been hearing the phrase Harris Collection Group a lot, actually. What? I don't know how to say this, but is there a possibility that Asher is her boyfriend? That bitch! Don't tell me that she's trying to steal him from me! As soon as I hung up the phone with Mom, I called Brooke. Hello? What's up? Hello, Brooke? You better not be stalking Asher! I heard everything! <laughs> um, what if I am? What? Sorry, but Asher is a better match with me. Don't worry, I won't steal anything else after taking him away from you. Because he works at the Paris Collection Group, right? <laughs> I overheard it the other day. I'm going to marry a rich guy. If I marry into a wealthy family, everything will be fine, right? God, I won't forgive her this time. This man is your sister's fiance. After I hung up the phone with her, I confronted Asher that night, but he said, What? No. It's true that after I got messages from her on social media, we called a few times, but that was because she's your sister and had something she wanted to discuss with me. After he said that, I checked his phone to see if there was something suspicious, but there was nothing. It was more like Brooke was trying to get his attention. So for a certain reason, I was confident and knew there was no way they would end up together. If they were to stick together, it would be a big problem. I'm pretty sure Asher is aware of that. He's not stupid. So I decided to believe that he wasn't cheating on me. I had him block Brooke, and after he did, I called her again to tell her that she would not be invited to the wedding and would cut ties with her. Anyways, time passed by so quickly, and the day of our wedding finally arrived. I was excited. I changed into a wedding dress, and asked, while we were talking in the waiting room, it was such a good idea to hold the ceremony before registering the marriage. We were so busy preparing for this, so it probably would have been much more difficult if we did that first. Oh, yeah. Huh? What's wrong, Asher? You've been acting weird since last night. He seemed a little distant from me since last night for some reason. While I was still feeling uneasy about this, the time for the wedding arrived. However, a terrible incident happened right after this. Hey! Hold on right there. To my surprise, Brooke showed up in a wedding dress. The staff immediately tried to make her leave by saying, please leave, but shut up, my goodness. My dream came true. I wanted to do the, hey, hold on right there once in my life. Anyways, sorry Paige, your fiance is going to be mine. <laughs> here, here, come here and let's get out of here, Asher. It was at that moment when I was standing there in shock. Asher walked towards her and I thought he was going to want her, but no. He hugged her. What's going on? Everyone there was shocked. Sorry, Paige. I honestly thought that you were the one I wanted to marry at first, but after blocking her, 
She came to my company every day and continued to try to get my attention. Then, I realized a few days ago that she and I were destined to be together. What? Are you being serious? After he said that... <laughs> I'm so happy! Brooke got all excited and hugged him. Asher was looking so happy with that. What on earth is going on? I'm so confused. While I was in shock and turned into stone, they held hands right in front of my face and walked off somewhere. Seeing them, his parents chased after them looking pale, while my dad chased them with rage. I was so overwhelmed that I almost passed out. And with my mom's help, we left the buzzing ceremony hall and went to the waiting room. After that, the ceremony, of course, was canceled. But as I was crying hysterically, my mom said, Well, you were lucky, Paige, because those two, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they'll be miserable in no time. <laughs> She was in a good mood for some reason. Seeing her like that, it came down to me. There's no way those two could be happy together. I mean, I seriously never thought that Asher would be this stupid. Maybe it was a good thing that I didn't get married to him. <laughs> Actually, I'm so glad I didn't. Things are going to get complicated for those two, anyways. Going back to the ceremony, my dad and Ash's parents were able to grab them and bring them in front of the waiting room. They were all furious and tried to get them to at least apologize to me. But I didn't open the door because I didn't want to see their faces. But I did hear their voices from outside saying things like, I understand that I did something terrible to Paige, but Brooke and I love each other. See, even Asher is saying the same thing, so don't worry about it. Mom and Dad, I'll share my happiness with her. Both my parents and Asher's parents cut ties with them on the spot. And I made them pay the whole expenses for the wedding and even made them both pay consolation money. After that, I returned to my parents' house and I heard a rumor that they both rushed to get married. However, a few months later... Hello, Paige OMG. Please help me. I'm begging you. Hello? Please, Paige, open up! <sighs> to my surprise, they came to visit me panicking. Do you want to know why? Well, I can't believe he's a contract employee and is leaving the company without renewing the contract. I thought I married someone rich. We don't even have enough money to live on. What the heck? Hell! How dare you deceive me! Excuse me? Deceived you? I told you that I was a contract employee and wasn't planning to renew it, but you were looking at me all clueless, so I explained it to you for days and you finally understood yesterday! I can't believe you don't know anything about this! Are you an idiot?! <laughs> Look at them fighting like this! <laughs> yes, Asher and I had promised that when we got married, he would become a house husband while I worked outside. So Asher had already informed the company that he would not be renewing his contract. I earn a lot more than him and I'm the type of person who prefers being outside to being home. Therefore, there was no way that he and Brooke, who's in debt, could be happy together. They also need to pay the consolation money, so they're screwed. Besides, you lie and said that you were a popular supermodel and would be on a TV show soon. That's why I was relieved when I got married to you. What do you mean you have no income? Oh, um, I, I meant it was going to happen eventually. I want to become big and appear in ads and commercials and stuff like that. You don't call that being a popular supermodel? Don't you feel embarrassed to lie like that as an adult? Also, why do you have so much debt? never told me that you'll be a house husband. Also, you lied that you worked at a top company. Wow, they got married before they even got to know each other. They're two of a kind. <laughs> As I stood in front of the door, hands raised and shoulders hunched and shocked, my mom came over from back and said out loud, 
Wow, I am so happy that a convenient man appeared who's willing to take care of my annoying daughter. Anyways, can you open up? No matter where she works, she's always late or absent and gets fired! So I had no choice but to find a new job to make a living, but this person wastes money! She even borrowed money from the loan sharks! She doesn't even do housework at all! I truly regret my decision! I should have married you! What? I thought that I would be marrying someone rich! I don't need a useless poor guy like you! You said I got fired, but so did you a few days ago! And the job you finally got is at a convenience store! I I'll give him back to you. I'll divorce and come back here. I'm really sorry for everything. I'm sorry, Paige! <laughs> Me too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I took a deep sigh, turned around, and said to my mom, ah, What should I do about them? They're noisy and are causing trouble for our neighbors. <laughs> Leave them. Looks like someone can't pick them up. I just saw up in the living room window. The next moment, I heard a deep male voice saying, Hey, where the hell is the money? That's, yeah. Someone from a loan shark. They were on the front porch outside for a while crying. I'm so sorry. But they must have been taken away by those people because their cries of distress gradually faded away. <laughs> that was quick. Afterward, I received a letter from both of them saying that they had divorced soon after. It seems like Brooke is currently working non-stop at a factory introduced by the loan shark, and Asher is forced to work on a fishing boat to pay off their debts. Both of the letters had the words, forgive me and help me, but of course, I didn't care. So I just tore them up and threw them in the trash. As for me, I'm currently working and living at my parents' house. I'm so glad that I realized how stupid Asher was before we got married. I shudder to think what would have happened to my life if I stayed married to him. But this was hilarious at the same time. I was saved thanks to Brooke. Oh, right. I went out to eat with my parents the other day and... Congratulations on your promotion! Thank you. This is all thanks to you guys who supported me. What are you saying? We didn't do anything. You achieved this by yourself. No, I didn't. I really thank you two from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Today's your promotion celebration, Paige. Eat whatever you want. Mom and Dad will pay for you. Really? Yes! Thank you! <laughs> Stay tuned for more!